Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. Well, good day. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Radio Network. This is the show where entrepreneurs, inventors, innovators, people with big dreams, they come to this program and they pitch their product to you guys. And you guys vote. You guys vote thumbs up or thumbs down. You decide who has the next $100 million idea. I'm your host, Akos Jankura. And let me tell you, we've been doing this show for quite some time, over six years now. We've had thousands of inventors come through the door. And every single week that we do this, one invention is better than the other one. We've seen everything. We've seen all kinds of crazy cool inventions. And every day is a new day, and every day we bring a new inventor on. I've had a couple emails and people asking, what do we do with the inventors? What happens when you come onto the program? Well, really what happens is the first step is it absolutely doesn't cost anything. It's a free step. We just try to serve the invention community. And they come on. They try to impress our producers and, and our directors and all the production team here to get on the program. And they do. They come on the program. And then what happens is we interview the inventor, we, we commits with them a little bit, learn about their background, learn about their story, and then they pitch it for 60 seconds. They come out and they pitch their product to you guys, and you guys vote. You guys give us a sort of like a, 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 a you know an opinion. You guys give us like a focus group of this a good invention or a bad invention by your thumbs up or your thumbs down pitch. And that's exactly what happens. And from there, we have all kinds of annual avenues of distribution. Now, what we like to do, we like to do, we, we love live shopping channels around the world, so we have associations with many live shopping channels. Here in the United States, Evine Live up in Minnesota is our primary U.S. shopping channel. We do business with a shopping channel in Canada, and uh, a TVSN, TV Shopping Network in Australia is another people we do business with. We also uh, do business in London, uh, in, in Italy, and Germany. Those are the big markets that we have, and then we try to take these inventions, and then what we sometimes do is we license the invention or we buy the invention from the inventor, and then we take it to those markets and then we pitch the product to them. Aside from that, we have a whole second part of our company. We try to educate. We try to teach people about stuff like we have these invention master classes. For example, we have a thing called Get Selling, where we try to teach uh, the inventor. Uh, like, no one knows how to, you know, where do you learn how to invent? What school do you go to? Not a very many places where you can learn to be an inventor. So we try to step in there and try to take our experience and try to teach you guys with inventor master class. We've had a couple big master classes now, Get Selling. Selling was one of them, where we teach the inventor what's the secrets to get your product out there, get selling. And another big, huge one was something called get funded or get funding, because everybody needs money when it comes to the invention land. People, whether it's to make their products, whether it's to uh, distribute or buy inventory and that sort of thing, or to market their products. So we're doing a big get funding push, where we're going to have a big get funding event at the end of August, early September. We're lining up some investors where the inventors can pitch those guys, and if those guys like them, uh, then the Hopefully they fund the invention and they move on. So that's kind of a little background of uh, the whole the whole team here at uh, My Cool Inventions. Uh, just a little background, but it all starts with one inventor pitching you guys one product. And today's inventor, we have a pretty cool cool invention. It's called Procliner, and it's a woman named Betty Skursky. Betty, Betty's here uh, with us uh, via Skype, via video, and if you're on the radio, of course you'll hear her. So Betty, welcome to My Cool Inventions. Good morning, Akas. I'm Ray. I'm Betty's son. Wait a I'm minute. You don't look like Betty. You don't look like Betty at all. <laughs> <laughs> so Betty you're is our, our model today. Oh, she's the model. Okay, you're Ray. Yes. Ray Skursky, the son. Tell everybody what's the procliner. Well, let me, let me explain how this procliner came about. I have herniated discs in my neck and my lower back, and a while ago, mom stopped over my house. And I was reviewing a book for a friend of mine while I was writing it, and Mom knew about this. She asked uh, how the review was going, and I told her it wasn't going well at all. I said, I'm having pain in my neck and my back when I try to read. I've bought one of the newest ergonomic chairs. It doesn't work. I've bought a stand-up desk. It's not working. I said, I'm so disgusted, I don't want to talk about it. So we went on with the visit. Mom is a voracious reader. She loves to read. She came back about three days later, and she said, you know, I read about your neck and your low back. She said, sitting at a desk and standing at a stand-up desk are bad for your neck and bad for your back. She said, I think it comes down to positioning the body and supporting the body. So she said, I'm going to build you a bench. And she goes, we're going to base it on positioning the body to reduce the effect of the 
painful spine compressing force of gravity and to support the body to reduce painful strain. So mom built a prototype, I tried it out, we improved it. She, built, she had a fabricator improve it, I tried it out. She'd have a fabricator improve it. Experts would take a look at it from the St. Pete area. And finally the experts start buying it for themselves. And mom finally came up with the current version of the pro planer and they tried to motivate her to take it to market to help others, and she just wasn't going. All right, Ray, Ray, Ray. Hold on, Ray, 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 Ray. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, Ray, 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 Ray. The Ray. Is the best way to prevent back and neck problems with, with activities such as computer and paperwork. The hey. pro is also the best way to avoid worsening of existing back and neck problems from activities such as computer and paperwork. And that motivated mom to take the take the pro planer to market. She said, I've helped you, I'll try to help others. Let me show you the pro planer. Hold on, hold on, Ray. Ray, hold on. Y yes. Last time I checked, it's still my show. <laughs> hold on for a second. Hold on. So listen, we have 53 people, 53 radio stations across the country listening, okay? So why don't you, without reading the paper and going into your heavy pitch there, why don't you just try to physically describe what the procliner is and how it works to so somebody who's not watching, only listening. So, and then save your word. Just you know, don't go crazy. Just give, like, give me a few words to describe it so we can get a visual of what this looks like. Sure. The, the first thing is the easy view headrest, which has three panels and it supports the user's head in the while the user is lying in the prone position. Hold on, hold on. So, 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 so let me help you. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at a woman who is lying kind of 45 degree angle in a position face down, kind of like a massage chair, but maybe up into a 45 degree incline. And she appears right. to have some sort of a pillow mechanism that she can peer through, uh, much the same way as a massage chair has that hole where you can look through, right? Okay. All right. So I think the radio listener is now caught up. Okay. So continue. Okay. Well, the uh, pillows on the easy view headrest, mom tried to make them as comfortable as possible. They accommodate eyeglasses and it maximizes the view of the work surface. Now the easy view headrest eliminates or reduces up to 60 pounds of force on the cervical spine and strain to the neck, shoulders, and upper back. So, the next feature so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Arm support. So hold on, just just, like just so you can see it, if you're watching or listening to the radio, this lady is looking through the hole in her 45 degree incline press. Now she has a work surface, which is a laptop, is there now, and she appears to be working, typing on the laptop, functioning maybe like what you would do at a desk, but in what appears to be a less painful position. Am I right? Yes, exactly. All right. Okay, continue. And, and, and her arms are continually supported by the continuous arm support. When you sit at a desk, your arms are supported, but you have to unsupport them and pick them up when you work. Same thing at a stand-up desk. But your arms are 10 and a half uh, percent of your body weight, and that's pulling on your neck, your shoulders, your upper back. This continuous arm support reduces the strain to the neck, shoulders, and upper back from the arms. Now we have the chest and the abdomen cushion that holds mom at the 45 degree angle. That has a unique double bend that positions the lumbar spine for less force and supports the low back for less strain. But it also gives the low back uh, a distraction, a gentle traction. And what this does is, I'm saying, I'm making a lot of claims here, but UC Berkeley, Dr. Schwartz and Margin have said that standing exerts five times the strain on the low back compared with lying down and sitting is even, even more strenuous. Well, a review by a St. Pete physical therapist of the Procliner stated that because of the unique design of the Procliner, the torso is stabilized in a way that results in most people experiencing a mild low back distraction component. The Procliner not only feels good on the low back, but it's beneficial for most low back conditions. So we have less strain on the low back. You step onto the foot platform to get on, and it guides the knees into the knee pad. You have a comfortable bend in the knees. You can move your feet around the foot platform. That's good for the leg circulation and the leg muscles. The hips are supported with a gentle distraction. Now, I'm telling you a lot of things. We've reduced the strain and everything. 
Mom has none of the strain on her legs, joints, or circulation of sitting. And when I use the Procliner, if I stand at a stand-up desk, I weigh about 170 pounds. On the Procliner, I only have 30 pounds of strain to my hips, legs, knees, and feet. Now, all these things are great, but they improve the quality. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right. Okay. I get it. I don't know how you're going to put this in a one-minute pitch. <laughs> but, all right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some advice. I'm gonna give. Hold on, stop, stop, please, 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 please. Hold on. So here's what we're gonna do. All right, because you're trying to jam a lot in, and don't forget, uh, these are people who are trying to have entertaining radio and television. Okay. Um, I suddenly felt like I was at a medical seminar, uh, and I was going over the features and benefits, and I was hearing uh, you said it a lot of claims on the product. It appears to be an interesting invention. Okay. At, at, when Al came, the product, I guess our production team came to us. He He's right. This looks like a very interesting uh, invention, but uh, you got to get past the whole one minute, two minute pitch thing before anybody pays attention to it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little break. I'm going to go get a little more coffee. (laughs) I'm going to pay some bills while we do some commercials. And I want you to consider 60 seconds to pitch it. That's all we're going to give you. Because if you go up one second past 60 seconds, we're going to hammer that uh, stop button on there. And I don't think you're going to go shorter than 60 seconds, so we won't even tell you what happens then. Okay, But in the meantime, I want you to take a break, take a breather, and figure out what you're going to do in 60 seconds. And for everybody listening and watching, if you're an inventor and you want to come onto the program and take all the time, just like uh, Ray just did, uh, you can just submit your products to mycoolinventions.com. Hit the submit button. And when we come back and after we hear Ray's pitch, we're going to try to vote for him by going to mycoolinventions.com and hitting a vote button. And it has to be a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So everybody get ready. We're going to try to compress this guy into 60 seconds, and that's how we're going to vote, because who knows, maybe this is a great invention. While driving, where do you put your phone or GPS in the car? On your lap? In the hand? On the dashboard? Not good choices when driving. That's really dangerous. But not anymore. Hi, I make Austin Solutions with the perfect solution to that problem. The Michaela Car Charger and Phone Holder. This fashionable stainless steel charger is designed to reduce the space it occupies. It even has an emergency glass breaker. Plus, it has two USB chargers so you can charge two devices simultaneously. The phone holder is uniquely designed so it easily installs on any air vent. Your phone is held with a magnet to give you 360 degree rotation. Turn it to the exact location that's best for you. It even comes with a 2-in-1 cable for Android or iPhone. The Michaela is the perfect solution. Normally Michaela sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Ouch! That hurt! You just cut yourself again prepping those veggies. <laughs> That's not good. Hi, I'm Ake Austin Solutionist to tell you the solution to that problem. The knife glider. The knife glider shields your hands from the blade while you're chopping, peeling, or slicing any type of food, hot or cold. Chopping has never been so easy and safe. Now the vegetable and fruit salads can be perfection every time by keeping your food in place without using your fingers as the guide. No more need to hold cucumbers, potatoes, or other food with your hands while peeling. The meat attachment allows you to cut all meats into perfect slices. The knife glider and the attachments fold up into one small unit. Save time, pain, and (laughs) bandages by using the knife glider. Normally the knife glider sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the knife glider is only $9.75. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490. Go to MyCoolGadgets.com. You have beautiful potted flowers and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view and they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. 
call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. The barbecue grill never looks or feels clean. And there's those little bits of metal on the grill. That's no way to enjoy your evening. Hi, I make us the solutionist, and the problem is solved with the Char Boss. The Char Boss is an all natural wooden grill scraper that removes char debris from your grill grate safely with no wire brush residue left behind. Used on a heated grill, this unique scraper will mold to the exact size and shape of your grates. Just run the solid hardwood Char Boss scraper across the grates and watch the scraper develop a custom shape tailored to your grill. With Char Boss, you'll spend more time enjoying your food and less time cleaning up. Normally, the Char Boss sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the Char Boss is only $7.75. Click on mycoolgadgets.com or call 1 888 877 0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. back you're tuned into the buy cool adventures network we're all trying to calm down i think ray got us going there for a second there he's an inventor with the procliner i think his mom invented it and he's been pitching it and boy boy does he ever pitch it all right so let's see if we can contain him what we're going to try to do is get him to do a 60 second pitch all within 60 seconds and i want you to listen to the pitch and i want you to give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down all right it's how you do it by going to mycoolinventions.com uh hit the vote button you can do it there or on Facebook will post. I think the link is already up there. You can hit the link just below this video there, and you can hit the thumbs up or thumbs down. All right. Let's. let's, let's uh, 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 so, Tony, do we dare turn the mic back on for him? You're okay. You ready to go? All right. Okay. So, Ray. Okay. You're, so we're, you're there, Ray. Are you there? I am. Here. Okay. Okay. Hold your hold hold hold, hold your voice. Hang up for a second. <laughs> so, we're gonna. Are you ready to give us a 60 second pitch? <laughs> I'll do my best. All right. Okay. So he's ready. Tony's ready. We're all ready to vote. Tony, I, I dare say this, but pull the trigger. <laughs> you got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Both of us have experienced neck strain, low back pain, tighter knee, hips, legs, knees, and feet when we sit at a desk or stand at a stand-up desk. Pain stops our best performance, zaps our energy, and limits our after work activity because all we want to do is recuperate from working at a desk all day. The ProCliner positions the supports the user to improve comfort, boost energy, help you work longer, smarter, and feel better after you get done. Isn't that what we all want to do anyway? Everybody wants to do their best job, feel good while they do it, and feel good after work to get on with life. That's what the ProCliner is going to help you do. You can use the ProCliner all day or especially when sitting or standing at a desk becomes too painful. The ProCliner workstation converts energy to a standard height desk, a height adjustable stand-up desk, and the Pro Planner. It's the most versatile and comfortable workstation out there. It costs is $19.99, and you can get it at www.proclinerprocliner.com. That's www.proclinerprocliner.com. Thank you. Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. Tony, did he leave time on the clock? I think he left time on the clock. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, you heard the pitch. <laughs> go vote. Go vote. MyCoolInventions.com. Go vote. Okay. Uh, Ray, can I ask a couple questions? And sure. can you keep the questions down to sort of one or two sentence answers? <laughs> Absolutely. How much is it? $19.99. So, $1,999. So two grand. All right. Yes. Have you have you sold any? Yes, we've sold eight. We just got the website up. Mom just got our website up a couple weeks ago. Her goal is to get on Amazon and YouTube. Uh, she's met with some people about infomercials and trade shows, but she hasn't really got a, a good feeling with meeting with those people. And okay. also, because of the Tony, abdomen Tony, motion, I asked them a question. A traction. So, Tony, stop, stop, and, right. So, Ray. You, you do realize I asked you, have you sold any? Yes. 
Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so is your goal, is your goal to do an infomercial? Uh, mom would love to do an infomercial. All okay. of the experts Stop, 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 stop. Way. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. All right, let's, let's, let's follow some parameters for a second. Do you think you have the margin of profit needed for an infomercial? That, let's answer that question. The margin of profit right now selling is is about forty five percent. All right, so now that's so, making that's only making onesies and twosies. Though. All right, all right. So you have to figure out a way. So you know, I'm an infomercial specialist, and I haven't once approached you. I'm not the kind okay. of guy who goes out and uh, you know, you know, tries to sell you a hope and a dream and take your money. And I mean, I'm trying to look at it as a whole picture to see if there's even a chance of this making work before we do that sort of thing. So the first step, I think, you need to have a product that has a retail price and a cost base that is four to one. So an infomercial, if anybody's trying to sell you an infomercial and they ask the question, uh, "What's the margin?" I mean, really, it has to be four to one. If it's not four to one, there's not going to be any room for anybody here because your media is going to cost you 50%. And then the rest of the profit has to be divvied up and you have to have distribution margin and retail margin. And the only reason you do an infomercial is so you can sell it in a bigger scale, in a bigger way. And you really need to have four to one margin. So if you can make it four to one by making a lot more instead of onesies and twosies, then that should be, my opinion is, you should actually look into that. That's kind of a little bit of advice from my side. Two. A lot of people won't drop $2,000 on a workstation. If you notice, infomercials don't really talk in terms of $2,000. You're going to need to finance this over time. This is one of those things where people will take monthly payments, kind of like this. Yeah. This is kind of like the pro form, like it's kind of like the pro form fitness infomercials, or the Nordic Track commercials, or all those other uh, uh, you know fitness type equipments where the equi- the equipment is two, three thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. You're going to have to break this down, and how you're going to have to have enough backing and funding to make those kind of models work. So those are my two uh, two uh, sort of uh, things there. Now you just pitched me in a lot of words. Okay, I think everybody paying attention would would agree with me that there was an awful lot of words going on. Today's world, I'm going to give you a real important advice. I can help you get the message across with way less words. You need to have a really high quality. Your first step, in my opinion, is what we talk about in Get Selling and Inventors Masterclass. Have you ever watched the Inventors Masterclass? Yes. Okay. So in Get Selling. We watch you every day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. In Get Selling, I talk all the time about trying to get somebody's attention in 30 seconds, okay? Your product could tell the story in 30 seconds with a really well-placed video, maybe some animation to go around all those back pains and neck pains. I think I had the animation running in my head when I watched it. And you got to get this down into 30 seconds because the really important people who are not just out there to take your money, and by the way, there's a ton of people who are going to take your money on this all day long. They're going to call you. They're going to give you hope. They're going to give you this dream. And they're going to tell you all you need to do is give me your money. And then you're going to find yourself in a place where you've lost your money, but you don't have anything for it. This happens all the time. You don't have to listen to me. I know a lot of other people who are inventors will tell you the same story. So you got to make sure the people you're doing business with are looking at the entire program. Retail or distribution, maybe it's not the retail distribution. This could be, a, uh, maybe this could be in chiropractors' offices or doctors' office. Like this is kind of, you need to be recommended. It could be a medical device. I don't know how the, how down the path you are with that. So you need to have somebody who's got the overall picture and is aligned with you right to the end, not just trying to dump a bit infomercial into your pocket because everybody's going to call you and do that. Even people who are famous are going to call you and do that. But that usually leads with very little success. My first step with you, 30 seconds. You got to be able to put this on a a LinkedIn, got to be able to put this on an Amazon, got to be able to put this on, because no one's going to read all your studies. I can just see that your probably your descriptions are this long. 30 seconds, they got to get it. They'll make a buying decision or they'll make their primary buying decision within that 30 second period. Investors, same thing. You got to give them that 30 second video. So I really strongly suggest that you be your first step. And then, and then as you're selling them, you got to drive this price down, okay? Because your pricing cost of goods is too high. I don't have a problem with your $2,000. Uh, uh, I used to be in the luxury chair business and I used to uh, consult for a company who made office chairs in another 
life. So I know that these type of things cost a lot of money. But you got to get the attention of the right people. So, And I think you've got a great product. In fact, I agree with Al. Al actually warned me. He said, I've been with Al for 100 years. Al said, this is a really great invention. The guy's, uh, the guy's uh, uh, he might talk a little few more words than you're used to. And I think, I think that's exactly what you did. So you've got a great product, in my opinion. I actually really like your product a lot. I think there's some hurdles to overcome, and I think we could help you if you're interested or other people can help you. But the first thing is I want everybody to vote. Go vote for this guy. Look at the spirit this man has. Look at the passion this man has. I'm going to take this spirit as passion and go to mycoolinventions.com and cast your vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And Ray, if you ever need any help, my email address is ACOS, A-K-O-S, first name, at mycoolinventions.com. Same as the website, mycoolinventions.com. I'd love to hear from you. You're a great guy. Great product, great invention. Everybody go vote for this guy. This is the American dreamer. We're going we're gonna to shave a little... Uh, uh, we're going to help him pitch, I think. We're going to have to... I think is this everybody needs to hear about this product. And he has the passion. Let's teach him the words here on the My Cool Inventions Network. Thanks, Ray. Problem. It's an emergency. You're stuck in the car with no power. The windows are up, the doors are locked, and it's 95 degrees. What do you do? Solution, the tactical pen. Anybody can break the window without hurting themselves. Grip the tactical pen and tap the window and it'll break. No need to hit the glass with your fist or elbow. And also it has many other functions. Hi, I'm Akos. The Solution is here to tell you that the tactical pen is the Superman of pens. The tip is made of tungsten steel and it's designed to break any window with one tap. It also serves as a deterrent against your assailant. And here's the best part, it's a perfect pen. You can even write upside down with its Fisher Space cartridge. Break out, protect yourself, even write a note with the tactical pen. The tactical pen sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadgets.com. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the flower pot perfect hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1 888 877 0490. That's 1 888 877 0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Clumsy idiot, you ruined the car! Stop. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. Your car is as hot as heck. And that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I make us the solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on the Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Stop. Stains are out. 
Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret in my Stains Are Out you can do at StainsAreOut.com. Ouch! That hurt! You just cut yourself again prepping those veggies. <laughs> That's not good. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist to tell you the solution to that problem. The Knife Glider. The Knife Glider shields your hands from the blade while you're chopping, peeling, or slicing any type of food, hot or cold. Chopping has never been so easy and safe. Now the vegetable and fruit salads can be perfection every time by keeping your food in place without using your fingers as the guide. No more need to hold cucumbers, potatoes, or other food with your hands while peeling. The meat attachment allows you to cut all meats into perfect slices. The knife glider and the attachments fold up into one small unit. Save time, pain, and <laughs> bandages by using the knife glider. Normally the knife glider sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the knife glider is only $9.75. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490. Go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. And in this section of the show, we always like to do something different. This is Tony, my special guest. We always hear about Tony in the background. He's one of our key producers. And uh, he, he is a man of many hats. That's what we put on there. He has many hats. He does it very much so. It was his birthday yesterday, so be kind to him. And what we're going to do is this section, we're going to call it Tony's Serious Question, where you're going to come up and ask me a question and, uh, you know, so, uh, hopefully you'll be able to hopefully answer. Hopefully I'll be able to answer. That's right. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, so how did you come up with this concept anyways? What, did you try to put me on the spot, try to tease me, trying to, you know, trying to figure that out with me? What? Kind of. I mean, you know, I, I sit here and I'm, as I'm producing and answering Facebook questions. I have... Uh, Questions of my own. All while right. The show's going on, so you know me. And I'm Alan a little scared to go forward and, uh, on this thing, uh, so uh, thought some stuff up. So okay, so, uh, so let's try it. Okay, right. what's Tony's serious question? Well, my serious question for today is, what's in a name? I mean, inventors they always come up with products, and I know even you've had a little bit of difficulty sometime coming up with that perfect name. That's not. You know, 20 names long or something like that, you know? <laughs> like yesterday's yeah. inventor's website? Yes. It was like yes. 20words.com. Like it was a huge name. And of course, no one's ever going to remember that. So your question is, what's in a name? Now, that's a very serious question because what's in a name is, uh, uh, you know, it might make or break your invention. It might make or break the name of your business. It might make or break uh, uh, your, your election run, you know, all that kind of stuff. So these names are very, very important. Now, the first thing I want to do is set up a rule. Rule number one, don't name your invention unless you can get the website. Dot com, not dot org, not dot us, or dot tv. Dot com. You got to be able to register the name you come up with and get the URL. Okay, dot com. All right, not anything else. I've seen a lot of strange things, and you want to get all the dots. Dot ca, dot uk, whatever there is. Dot com is the most important one. So whatever you come up with, rule number one. Make sure you can get the URL. Period. End of story. No rhyme or reason about it. Now, now the name part is crazy because I tell you something. I have spent hours, countless hours, trying to figure out what to name an invention. So some of my names, the really bad ones, are floor to ceiling laundry pole. Are you kidding me? <laughs> floor to ceiling laundry pole. At least it tells you exactly what it does. It's a description name, but however, number one, <laughs> you can't get the. Maybe you can get. The URL, maybe I'm not sure. I never tried. And number two, uh, it's way too descriptive. We would never get a trademark. So number one, get the URL, and number two, can you get the trademark? That's number two. I got a couple questions coming in. John Dar Darwin, I hope I can receive that from that far. What's in a name? How about New World Order? Well, it depends on what you're trying to uh, name. What is that? Is that a book? Is that a uh, you know? Is that a uh, coffee? Is that That's, whatever? That was for wrestling. New World Order. Oh, New World Order. I didn't know. Thanks. W from I, WCW. 
I always have to a young kid here. It's always good to have a young kid because he can tell me what's going on out there. So number one, get the URL. Number two, get the trademark. Now, trademarks are tricky. Because, and we'll have another section on trademarks another time. But trademarks, I was just writing that. Oh, yeah, trademark. Let's write that down. And so trademarks are tricky because, you know, you can't be too descriptive. Like floor to ceiling laundry pole, too descriptive. We'll never get that as a trademark because it describes the product. I'll tell you a famous one in Canada. We had a pizza chain, right, mm -hmm. called Pizza Pizza, right? Pizza Pizza is a huge pizza chain in Canada, right? The trouble is uh, they could never protect their name. Even though they advertised hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even millions of dollars on TV, radio, Pizza Pizza, and on t but they couldn't protect the name because a trademark lawyer argued to the judge that pizza, of course, is a descriptive name of pizza. He argued that pizza, pizza, two pizzas in a row, uh, defines the description. So it's no longer a description, becomes a brand name. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. So in fact, I believe Little Caesars started knocking off pizza, pizza in Canada because what they were doing there, remember that thing? Yeah. Little Caesars, all of a sudden, the little guy came up and goes, pizza, pizza. Hit the, the little fork down, yeah, the well, pizza would spin. Well, people didn't know. They weren't just reminding people of the pizza, pizza. But in Canada, there was a big trade war going on. Uh, uh, they were they were basically uh, you know nudging it to pizza pizza by going ah little Caesar what about pizza pizza right remember that I guess they were the bigger guys they fought like if if we could go yeah. with this we could we could beat them out so so that's it so that oh so that's very important so the, oh we have another comment Steve Warpal says GlideGuys.com got it now for the trademark so there's an example by the way Steve I know you're watching uh, we were on the phone yesterday with Inventor Showdown buyer I think you're in buddy I think you're in if we can pass QA I think you're in so Bonnie's gonna get back to you so hopefully you get on that inventor showdown reality show no guarantees yet but there's a good indication so i want to let you know there glideguys.com those guys came with f furniture uh, uh furniture movers and now he's got the url glideguys.com and now he's got the trademark so he's passed two of my benchmarks okay and i'm going to use him as an example out because that's a really great example and we'll talk about something oh i'll talk about it so glideguys.com it's steve's trademark and url and i love it and i'll tell you why i love it. A very famous man taught us something. His name was the best namer in the world. The guy who, the guy who has the best trademarks and the best names in the entire world, bar none, was a guy named Walt Disney. This guy was able to trademark names and he made an empire out of the ability to name stuff, right? The ability, he's, he was the best name person in the entire world and I'm sure if the, if the internet were around back then, he would be, he, he trademarked all his names, but I'm sure he would have got the .com and all his names too. And what he did was a secret. This is kind of like a selling secret, a naming secret. His secret was he used double consonants. Right. Think about it. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. M M double consonants. Mickey Mouse. Why do I like Steve Warpal's name so bad much? Because he's using double consonants. Glide guys. There's Donald Duck. Double D. Glide guys is double G. Donald Duck. Glide guys. Mickey Mouse. I wonder if Al has a couple other ones. Do you have a couple yeah. other ones up there for us? Coca Cola. Uh, Coca Cola. Another great name because you can probably get the trademark. You probably get the uh, URL, and uh, it's a double consonants. Coca Cola. C C. C. That's that's a really great rule. Uh, if you can get a C, you can get double consonants. People remember the name better and longer. Bugs Bunny. Right? He's surrounded by Daffy Duck and Porky Pig. Look at that. There's Porky Pig, B B Bugs Bunny, and Donald Duck. I don't think that's Walt Disney. That's um, that's Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. But they started copying Don uh, Walt Disney. So the people who were naming great things were copying the master. The master was I don't even know the year of that. Probably in the 40s or something. Uh, Walt Disney started using double consonants, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, right? So he trademarked those names and he realized that people would remember the name, okay? And then Walt, you know, Warner Brothers started knocking off Porky Pig, Donald, we saw a picture up there, of Porky Pig, Donald Duck, and, oh, Porky Pig and Donald Duck, and what was Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck and Bugs, Bugs Bunny. Bunny. Sorry, Donald <laughs> Duck. Bugs Bunny, that's right, I can't remember Even my in the cartoon. comic books. Even, okay, comic books. So what, so what are the big comic book names? Marvel or what do they call those guys? Marvel, yeah. Yeah, so they started using using the same concept on names, what do they come up with? Like uh, for the Hulk, you have Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. See that? Double B, right? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. I can't remember off the top if of my head. If we had, uh, what's the other guy's more. name used to work here? He yeah, he'd, he'd rattle them all off. I can't remember his name now. <laughs> Why can't I remember his name? Zach. Zach! Zach. If Zach were here, he'd have 20 of them. But the great names in the world, um, 
follow you. I want you to follow three rules when it comes to what's in a name. Okay, number one, get the URL. Don't, this is no, this is no. Listen, don't 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 cherry code it. If you can't get the URL, move on. Get another one that has the URL. You must have the .com, and don't don't get the .ca or the .tv because I'll tell you why you don't want to do that. Because other people, if your name gets famous, can if they own the .com, they'll get famous too. They'll just basically ride on your coattails and steal your money. So you got to get the .com. Second, you got to get the trademark. So you be able to trademark the name. And in order to get a trademark, make sure it's not too descriptive. You can't describe something and get a trademark. That's why I said, uh, uh, for example, uh, Pizza Pizza wasn't able to actually trademark that name, uh, despite the fact the lawyers argued uh, vehemently that the two pizzas in a row. Uh, and actually, that would have been a good name if they could get it, because Pizza Pizza is also a double consonant. Oh, yeah. If they, could, if they could have got PizzaPizza.com and they could have trademarked Pizza Pizza, <laughs> good name. And I'll tell you why the name's so important. It's not just that what's in a name, it's the whole value of it. Because if you're a businessman, I always say this, don't get into a business if you don't know how you're going to get out of it. Don't get into the business unless you have an exit strategy. And on a name, and if you're an inventor, sometimes the exit strategy is selling the name. Okay, so that's the value. You build up this name, and then you can sell it to somebody. What do you think Coca Cola is worth? I have no idea, but it's probably worth a small fortune, right? So those. What do you think Mickey Mouse is worth? If I could buy the term Mickey Mouse, what, what would I pay for it, right? What's in a name? So, so that's why I want you to get the URL. That's why I want you to register to trademark, and that's why I want you, if you can. Now it's not possible all the time, but if you can, get double consonants. So I want to congratulate Steve Warple over there and. The Glide guys, because those guys, I'm telling you something, they got it. They've got the name registered uh, for a trademark. They got GlideGuys.com, and they're using the double consonant. So I love that name. Love it, love it, love it. You know why? Because people will remember it. Now, I think somebody's trying to write rule one, URL, rule two, trademark, and uh, rule three, if you're going to complete the sentences, uh, double consonants. See if my brother, he's typing on Facebook, see if he knows how to spell consonants on there. Even I don't know how to spell. So let, let's leave it to him to see if he can come up with it on there. So that's a great question, Tony. What's in a name? Um, and, and, you know, there's other sort of uh, uh, tricks to the trade. Uh, they say also that a, a sort of a fourth sub rule, a double um, syllable name sells better than a single syllable name. They used to say that okay. to be a president of the United States, you had a better chance if your name was like Nixon or Reagan. Two syllables usually sold better than one syllable. Huh. So Clinton, the, you know, but Trump, be, of course, beat Clinton. But the, you tend to have a slight advantage with a double syllable name to remember. Uh, I love Glide Guy. Well, no, double syllable Glide Guy doesn't follow, but Don, I think it's another Donald Duck. No. So like Gold Trap. Gold, yes. <laughs> if you were running for office, Gold Trap, uh, Tony Gold Trap might stand a better chance for a guy than Jan Kura because it's three syllables, right? So those are kind of my insights on names. Those are my insights. I hope you learned something about that. And if you're an entrepreneur and you're an inventor out there, great question from Tony. That's my segment on what's in a name. And by the way, if you if you want to learn about something, you want to ask the experts, just type it in right there on the Facebook stream. Ask a question. We're constantly monitoring it. We have over 140,000 of you on Facebook watching. Uh, paying attention. So just write your questions over there. Follow us on LinkedIn. Follow us on Facebook and watch the Inventions and Gadgets channel. That's it for What's in a Name. Are you kidding me? Stop. Stains are out. Stop the yelling with Stains are out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret and my stains are out. You can too at stainsareout.com. The barbecue grill never looks or feels clean. And there's those little bits of metal on the grill. That's no way to enjoy your evening. Hi, I make us the solutionist and the problem is solved with the Char Boss. The Char Boss is an all-natural wooden grill scraper that removes char debris from your grill grate safely with no wire brush residue left behind. Used on a heated grill, this unique scraper will mold to the exact size and shape of your grates. Just run the solid hardwood Char Boss scraper across the grates and watch the scraper develop a custom shape tailored to your grill. With Char Boss, you'll spend more time enjoying your food and less time cleaning up. 
Normally, the Char Boss sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the Char Boss is only $7.75. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1 888 877 0490 or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the flower pot perfect hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1 888 877 0490. That's 1 888 877 0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Ouch! That hurt! You just cut yourself again prepping those veggies. <laughs> That's not good. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist to tell you the solution to that problem the knife glider. The knife glider shields your hands from the blade while you're chopping, peeling, or slicing any type of food, hot or cold. Chopping has never been so easy and safe. Now the vegetable and fruit salads can be perfection every time by keeping your food in place without using your fingers as the guide. No more need to hold cucumbers, potatoes, or other food with your hands while peeling. The meat attachment allows you to cut all meats into perfect slices. The knife glider and the attachments fold up into one small unit. Save time, pain, and <laughs> bandages by using the knife glider. Normally the knife glider sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the knife glider is only $9.75. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490. Go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. Your car is as hot as heck. And that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I make us the solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield, and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally, one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on the Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1 888 877 0490. That's 1 888 877 0490, or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Here's the problem. It's dark. You're outside. You can't have any light on there and you're wearing your baseball cap and you got to hold a flashlight. What to do? Solution? You want cap light. Look at this. The cap light fastens onto any baseball cap like that and you hit the button like this and boom, you've got bright light and not only any bright light, Cobb LED light on, off and your hands are free so you can roam around wherever you do outside. Maybe you go down to the basement. Maybe you're going down outside. Maybe it's outside and dark. You're in the garage. Now you put the cap light on your cap and you can see anything in your hand are free. Now, normally cap light sells for $29.99, but today's daily wag, what a gadget. You can get cap light for $9.75. You heard me right, $9.75. Hold on. If you buy one, we're going to get one free. You're going to get two cap lights for $9.75. Not only that, free shipping and handling. All you have to do is go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's mycoolgadgets.com. That's $9.75 for two of them and free shipping at mycoolgadgets.com. 
What do you think about that, Andrew? Very clever. Cool. What a gadget, kids. Oh, here's here's the deal, Leo, on this thing. Too. So first of all, this thing, look at that. It's really bright, isn't it? It's Can't actually see. the brightest light you've ever seen. I'm going to show you this little thing. First of all, it's not LED light. Let me introduce you to a technology that you probably have never heard before. It's COB, C-O-B. Now, if you turn it off, Andrew, and take a look at, as you can see, the lights there, there's no light bulbs. Can you see that? Right, right. There's absolutely no light bulbs inside. Okay, what it is, there's circuits. Okay, there's little circuits, and there's literally, literally thousands and thousands of little circuits right there. So when I push the button, it's insanely bright. Look at that. Off on. Insanely bright. That is Cobb LED. Let me tell you about Cobb LED. I predict in the future, we were in the Hong Kong electronic show, and it's already coming. I think every car light, every every street light, I think every light in every house will be Cobb LED. You know why? It draws almost no power whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So the battery's going to last way longer than you think, and you know you use much less energy. And what I love about this design, look at that guy working on his car there. He puts the light on his, uh, on his cap, and he can see with the insanely bright light anywhere he goes. You're walking the dog, you're outside, you're camping, the camping season's coming up. Why hold a flashlight in your hand when you can have the power of the, actually the power of 20 flashlights on your head on there? And you don't have to wear that, I haven't seen those silly light things you put on your head. Oh yeah. <laughs> Around the band, you know. That's crazy. No, everybody wears a baseball cap, right? So you can throw it on uh, the baseball cap. Uh, maybe, maybe you can put it on your, uh, what do they call it? Do <laughs> My do-rag. Yeah, do-rag, you better do-rag walker around there, the light on the head. So this is actually a great idea for you. Uh, actually, you've got some comedy fans here. Domingo Fernandez. Andrew, please bring me two caps. I'll pay. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're already getting orders. Where does he live, that guy? Dubai? He's in Dubai. <laughs> already getting orders from Dubai. There's people from it's Dubai not. watching the program already asking Andrew to buy it, so make sure you bring him two cap lights. <laughs> okay, no problem. Hey, hey Domingo, it's nine seventy five for two of them, but in your case, it's not free shipping. It's only a thousand bucks for me. <laughs> All right. He might throw it in his luggage. Who knows, Domingo? Uh, there. So is this a cool Cool idea, Andrew. Yes. So, by the way, they're normally twenty nine ninety nine each. Each. How about nine wow. seventy five? That's like a two thirds off. And just for giggles, we give you two of them. It's a buy one get one. It's a bogo. So you get one, two. Buckle my shoe. Wow. So two of them for nine seventy five. Free shipping and handling. Go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's mycoolgadgets.com. Hey, Domingo, go to mycoolgadgets.com and buy it, and Andrew will deliver it to you, right? Mycoolgadgets.com. It might not take your order from Dubai. We'll double check on that. So, Andrew, what do you think you can use this for? What's your idea on this? What's your, what's your opinion? Well, see, as a musician, it's great on stage when there's a dark stage, you need a light. It's perfect because you gotta, you know, you need to plug in stuff. You need your hands for free. It's gonna be a good idea. But that's all my. That's just one of my personal opinions. But you can use it in. You know, obviously, in the garage is great. On a car, working on a car, that kind of thing. In a in a basement that's dark, you can't. You know, it's hard to get to the light. Maybe the lights on the other side of the basement. You can't right. see anything. Perfect. It's perfect on just throw it on your cap. Tony's yeah, talking about night fishing. We got another comment on the Facebook stream. Night fishing Excellent is a good idea. idea. Yeah. Is it legal, Tony, to put a big light in the water to get, attract the fish? Is that legal? Is it? No, I'm not sure. On there, who cares, right? He goes, hey, that's my baseball cap. It's really bright. But Easy. you got like nuclear lighting. By the way, this is so bright. <laughs> this lighting. is like nuclear lighting. I mean, it's not nuclear lighting, but it might be. Take a look out there. We're having a great time here. Buy one, get one free. Two of them for nine seventy five. dollars uh, Al is uh, waving galore. Lower. 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 Okay, lower. okay, nine seven. Okay, you're on off now. Nine seventy five for two of them. Listen, where are you going to get this thing for four dollars and a quarter? Four thirty, right? Four thirty. Yeah. Free shipping. MyCoolGadgets.com. It's insane. Don't don't walk. Run. Everybody right now, run to mycoolgadgets.com. Throw the link up there, Tony, for us on both websites. Throw the link up there. Mycoolgadgets.com. Go there right now and just search for Cap Light. Cap Light. In a few moments, uh, we'll put it up there on the main billboard there. Cap Light. Mycoolgadgets.com. Two of them for nine seventy five. Orders are already coming in right now wow. on there. Make sure you don't wait too long. Uh, Domingo, uh, so maybe, make sure you get your order in there. <laughs> Everybody jump on there right now to MyCoolGadgets.com and see if you can get your buy one, get one cap light, uh, including free shipping. That's incredible. I mean, seriously, yeah. it's going to cost us more than nine seventy five to ship it to you. Dude, I think we're upside down on this. Tony, did you do this? <laughs> seriously, dude. Did you do the math? Two of them. First of all, they're thirty nine. They're thirty bucks each. That's sixty dollars. The shipping on that sort of thing is usually four or five bucks. That's sixty five dollars. And you threw it up there for two for nine seventy five free shipping. Oh, I think I need to get Tony a calculator. 
<laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure that's the logical thing. MyCoolGadgets.com as well. They still have them. Um, this is this is going to sell like crazy. This is really this is really a free offer. I mean, seriously, when you think about it, this is insane. This offer. Uh, you get two of them for nine dollars and seventy five cents. Hey, we got uh, we got uh, comments. Mike Green says hello. Do you know Mike Green? Is that one of your guys? No. Mike Green says hello. Everybody's watching. So wave to us. Say hello on our streams. Free shipping and handling. MyCoolGadgets.com. By the way, have you been to My Cool Gadgets? It's cool. Yes, website. it's very cool. Oh my, cool! Web. They got some cool stuff on there. I mean, I oh, mean, I love this. Is kind of cool. By the way, here's how it installs. Right, you take it off. Looks like this. You get two of these things, and they're super, super bright. They're, I mean, they're insane bright. They're nuclear lighting bright. I mean, this is crazy bright. I mean, you know why? Because of the technology. These are not LED lights, okay? Look closely. Okay, I'm going to hold it here so you can see. There's no light bulbs in there. That actually is a um, COB, C-O-B. That stands for Circuit On Board. Okay. You know I bet you a bunch of your musical equipment is going to have this technology in it shortly. Yeah. And so it's got the clip, so it slips on your, the bill of your hat. Is that what they call it? The bill? This is yep. Tony's hat. Outback Bowl 2017. Seriously, Tony, wash the hat. You know, maybe once in a while throw it in the dishwasher. By the way, that's the trick, right? You throw it in the dishwasher, not your water. Yeah, or take it in the shower with you. Yeah. Take it in the shower with you. <laughs> Tony, well, don't, you should, Tony, maybe Tony doesn't shower enough. So take it in the shower with you next time and wash the cap on there. So clip it on the bill there. Turn it on and off. you got a fantastic light there. It's actually really, really super light. It's like nuclear lighting. And it's hands-free. you got hands-free lights. Bill your cap. You're going to love it. They're normally $29.99. 30 bucks normally. We're going to sell it for $9.75. And then, buy one, get one. BOGO. BOGO. Free Ooh. shipping. Costs us more than 10 bucks to ship it to you. Ooh. Free shipping. MyCoolGadgets.com. How much left? Okay, we're, we're, we're starting to run out of them, so please get on MyCoolGadgets.com uh-huh. immediately, uh, quickly, so you can pick up yours. Two of them for $9.75. Free shipping. Any last words, Andrew, for this? Last words for this? Yeah. Buy now. <laughs> love them by now of course hey father's day's coming up you know maybe that's a good idea for old dad he's maybe he's a fisherman likes to run around if you're walking your dog we walk the dog at night walk the dog put it on your cap on there by the way it's a good idea it's summertime wear a baseball cap you don't want those sun rays uh, hitting your head and that's the daily wag what a gadget you know what i always say wag more Bark less. That's the deal. Wagmore, bark less. <laughs> this is a happy place, a happy offer. And isn't nine seventy five for a two pack free shipping? One happy offer on this uh, cap light. Go to mycoolgadgets.com right now. If you're listening on the radio, don't delay. Mycoolgadgets.com. Download the app. Buy it now. <laughs> Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. Ouch! That hurt! You just cut yourself again prepping those veggies. (laughs) That's not good. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist to tell you the solution to that problem, the knife glider. The knife glider shields your hands from the blade while you're chopping, peeling, or slicing any type of food, hot or cold. Chopping has never been so easy and safe. Now the vegetable and fruit salads can be perfection every time by keeping your food in place without using your fingers as the guide. No more need to hold cucumbers, potatoes, or other food with your hands while peeling. The meat attachment allows you to cut all meats into perfect slices. The knife glider and the attachments fold up into one small unit. Save time, pain, and (laughs) bandages by using the knife glider. Normally the knife glider sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the knife glider is only $9.75. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490. Go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Are you kidding me? Stop. Stains are out. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret in my Stains Are Out. You can too at StainsAreOut.com. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. 
Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the flower pot perfect hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The flower pot perfect hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the flower pot perfect hook sells for $29.99. But today only on The Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now.